Hello everybody, this is going to be a full walkthrough of Detective Die the Silk Rose Murders. There is a prologue and three different chapters. Each one will be a separate video, so this will be a four video playlist. Um, you will be getting all Thousand Gamer Score uh, in it. So, let's play. Okay, so uh, it should be mentioned that to use items, we need to activate our bag in the bottom left corner, and any item that we have, we need to drag it onto either the item or person that we need to use the uh, item on. Now, this is done by holding the A button on the item and uh, dragging it over, which you'll see momentarily. So first we need to speak to, oh, no, we're gonna skip the tutorial because it's very simple. Go and talk to this dude here. Say hello, la di la di da. But, uh, we don't need to do uh, any of that. I'm gonna open the bag with the A button. Gonna hold the A button on the Imperial Edict and give that to the guard who uh, I believe later on we call Sergeant Feng, I think. Anyway. We go through into the entrance courtyard. We will then speak to this gentleman here. Uh, when we speak, it's the uh, lip, uh, the pair of lips icon. We're going to exhaust the uh, dialogue. Once he's done that, he will take us to uh, the right into uh, the far side of the compound, which he will lead us to. So, we'll go through the dialogue. Right, you want to pick up the two items. First, this used pink candle here. Pick it up with the hand icon by pressing A on it and then selecting it. For, uh, in case you're interested, the left icon is always for you to examine. So we are now going to turn the body over and examine his torso. There we go. Uh, examine his legs and then his arms and then his head. Oops. There we go. And then once we've examined all four, we can summarize. Once we've done that, we're going to speak to Minister Wangwa. And we're going to exhaust all of the dialogue. Once we've done that, we'll exit the dialogue. He will walk off. Once we've done that, or once he's walked off, we're going to quickly examine the uh, cape by pressing A on it. Uh, not holding A this time, just examine it, uh, pressing A on the bag and pressing A, and that'll give us the anonymous letter. Once we've read that, that'll give us the first of the six evidence clues. Now we've done that, we are going to move away from the waterfall, or away from the murder scene, to the waterfall. And then we're going to attempt to speak to Captain Bay. Exhaust the dialogue as far as it'll let you. And then we're going to go all the way to the left, to the main courtyard. Now we're in the courtyard, we are going to move over to the rag and pick that up. We 
we are going to speak to the guy who looks like Hanzo out of Overwatch and uh, we will exhaust all of the dialogue options that it gives us. Once we've done that, we're going to actually go into the building. And note for in future, um, you can, if you rapidly press A, the character will speed up. So speak to Minister Wang Wah, and we are going to just exhaust all of the dialogue that we have here. It's not much. Then we're going to go around, and we're going to speak to Sun Ying here, which is this uh, girl in the kimono shiny style dress, whatever it's called. The Chinese outfit, we'll just call it that way. We'll uh, go through the uh, dialogue. Okay, so once we've done that, she will give us a lockbox uh, Okay. Next, we're going to go into the kitchen and we're going to introduce ourselves to the chef. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to exhaust all of the dialogue. Once the dialogue's done, we can exit, and then what you want to do is drag the uh, coated rag over to Chef Chu. So we'll have got clue number one of six, or the second one so far. We are then going to grab these charcoal tongs on the left, and then we are going to proceed out of the kitchen. We are then going to move outside this uh, left entrance. We're going to go into the storage room up here. And then we're going to use the key. By dragging it over to the lockbox with the A button. It was obviously the key that Sun Ying got, gave us just a moment ago. We're going to examine this fourth candle, the second from the right, that has like a horizontal stripe along it. Then aim at the bottom of the screen and we're going to exit the candle screen and then exit the storage room. Right, now we've done that, we are going to move back to the sitting room, back to the kitchen and we are going to have the chef uh, examine the candle again or, or we'll have the chef examine something from us again. So there's our third clue, the fourth of the sixth. The fourth of the six, I should say. Right, now we've done that, we are going to move to the front gate where we actually started the game. So you rapidly press, the guy will speed up. We are going to talk to Sergeant Feng. We are going to go through all of the options or all of the dialogue things. Once we've done that, we are going to go back inside. We're then going to go all the way back to the waterfall where the log and the guy who wasn't going to talk to us was. Something that does mean we have to do a lot of backtracking. Okay. 
Okay. Once we've done that, we're going to keep going to the right. <sighs> Come on, all the way to the right. We're going to the waterfall. Right, once we're here, we're going to use the charcoal tongs on the little tree hollow. And it should find us a, I believe it was a brass candlestick, not a bronze candlestick, which actually has blood on it. We have the murder weapon. So we have the sixth, uh, uh, the second of six clues, our fourth. Then what we're going to do is we are going to speak to Captain Bai. Now is not the time. So we're going to exhaust all the dialogue. Oops. we've uh, exhausted the conversation with Captain Bai we're going to go back to the sitting room so that's back inside and we're going to speak with uh, Sun Ying which as you remember it was the girl who gave us the key to the lockbox for the candles She says it was outside. We are going to go back to where we were, uh, just outside where the sweeping person was. And we're going to examine the bench. We are now going to talk to Stuart Song. Yo will never be a sweeper. Did you see Ambassador Choi's cap? Okay. We are going to go back into this room and we're going to talk to Major, uh, sorry, not Major, Minister Wang. Would have been awful if I called him Major Wang. Uh, talk about the house steward. So we're going to go back to uh, the steward. Talk about the Liangs. So we found the third clue of six, our fifth. Once we've done that, we are going to uh, go back to the kitchen we are going to speak to the chef who will have a key and we're going to exit sadly we can't take a shortcut it will exit us out the door that we entered through so we can't do, take a shortcut from the right to the left and left to the right We're going to go all the way back to the front of the uh, area. We're going to talk to Sergeant Feng. There we go, we now have the three keys. 
I'm going to go back inside and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the storage room trigger warning right here for those who are sensitive to certain things I'm going to give you three seconds three two one okay for those who haven't switched off you're in for the long haul in we go okay so while she's there we're going to examine this uh, box and uh, we are going to drag the keys onto the oh god we're going to drag the keys onto where they need to go there we go and so the the what we're supposed to do is to make it so that all of the things rotate so they all make that symbol up there so all you need to do first one three clicks one two three middle one two clicks right one one click that opens it up gives us the hat we can examine the original hat Then we're going to examine the notes. Oh, God. There you go. We now have all six clues. We are now going to speak to Minister Wang. And then uh, we're going to go to the sitting room. Talk to uh, Minister Wang Wa. Going to do the case reenactment. It's going to be the cap exchange. Then it's going to be, she struck him with a candlestick. And finally, it's going to be, join the ambassador. What this will do is, uh, I believe it will pop the second achievement that, I, that uh, comes from the game. Uh, I've already got it, so you won't see it. So what will happen is, this achievement, the Crime of Passion, will pop um, either when you get the last clue or when you solve this segment. And obviously the first case is what you get. It will be the first one as soon as you start the game, basically. So with uh, that prologue case done, I am going to let uh, this play out to the opening to chapter one and then we will continue with that in the next video. Thank you everybody for watching.